Hi guys, welcome back to the Bitter Betty Podcast. I'm Bitter Betty Carol with an E here with my one cohort today. Bitter Betty Deadhead. Um, Miss Tova is, is um, missing in action for a good reason. Um, she is spending time with her family, um, well-deserved and needed time. So um, we figured, we, we told her, don't you worry about it. We'll take care of the channel. She needs to do what's good for her. You'll probably see her pop in here and there, um, but she uh, needs to visit for that family. So um, we're happy for Tova in this time. So, but we are here today to do some Ralphie May. Um, and this one is a clip um, that we was uh, fed up with the L with LA's gay pride parade. Say that three times fast. <laughs> um, so uh, I don't believe that Deadhead has heard much from Ralphie May. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that she enjoys it because I think he's hilarious. So I've already seen this, but hopefully she likes it. So here, here we go. Let's go. And what the f does a rainbow have to do with sucking dick anyway? <laughs> Ain't like it's magically delicious. <laughs> Isn't that right, girls? Because if it was, it'd be so hard to get you to do it once in a while, huh? <laughs> in this neighborhood, you can't say anything about gay people. Stop it. <laughs> they are sensitive. Why? Because they suck. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, because they suck. They get to have a parade and fuck up traffic for three days. <laughs> Okay, I ain't willing to take a 15 mile detour so little bunny foo foo can walk up and down the street going yay for dick. I like it in the ass. F that. Look, I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna gas dinner two dollars a gallon. F you, Holmes. Go suck dick in your bedroom. I'm not driving there. Okay. And gay people just take it. They used to be everybody's and make it gay. Remember when you was a kid, you just draw a picture of your house. You put a nice big rainbow in the sky. <laughs> gay. <laughs> they done took the rainbow. I want the rainbow back. You can't have the rainbow, goddammit. We didn't vote on this shit. I didn't get an email. F you, you greedy bastard. How many colors do you need, goddammit? <laughs> and what the f does a rainbow have to do with sucking f anyway? <sighs> Ain't like it's magically delicious. Isn't that right, girls? Because if it was, it'd be so hard to get you to do it once in a while, huh? <laughs> And look, if you're gay and you're all worked up, well, guess what? It's just a fucking joke. Even though personally, I do want the rainbow back. It's just a fucking joke. Look, you can take a dick in the ass. You can damn sure take a joke. They told me not to make fun of it. The magician got ate up by the tiger. I'm sorry, it's fucking funny. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing hanging out with a cat? Cats are vile creatures when they're eight pounds. They fucking hate you. If you own a cat, it fucking hates you. All you're there to do is feed it, scratch that place where its tail meets its ass, and clean out its shit box, okay? They fucking hate you. You'll be petting them. This is the proof. They'll be petting you. think, oh, no, he loves me. Really? Keep on petting. He'll fucking turn. Ah, ah, ah. Bite your ass. They're fucking evil when they're eight pounds. This is a 600 pound tiger. Look at that dummy. It's gonna get you. Good. This is what you get for making a proud fucking beast of the jungle and fucking putting it on a goddamn gay disco ball and having two fucks poking with a stick. <laughs> the fucking tiger was gonna snap. You knew it was coming. I bet he was backstage before the show going, This is fucking bullshit, Marty. <laughs> 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 Seven years he's been poking me with that stick and made me run that big faggy fucking disco ball. So I'm now the fucking poster child for gay cats. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Shut up, boy. You got it easy. You pop out of a fucking box. Me, I'm fucking taking in the ass. I know you've been calling me Snowball, too. That's some bullshit. I swear to God, he hits you with that stick, it's his fucking ass. You know there was a guy in the audience, though. You know there was a guy in the audience who had a shit day at the tables. He got dragged that 
fucking show by his wife, had to spend $150 a fucking ticket, fucking pissed off, and bang, he's going, man, I wish fucking that tiger could eat that fat. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> I love Ralph, Ralphie May. Uh, rest in peace, Ralphie May. He died years before his time. Mm. Um, so, because um, if you think about it, when he was in this clip, he was talking about gas being two, like almost two dollars. Could you imagine Ralphie now? He'd be like the fuck, like, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you mean? Can he'd we bring really back? Be mad. He'd be like, can we bring back the two dollars? <laughs> right, right. Mm. Like the rest of freaking America. Mm. Cheesy Pete. That's Ralphie May. He's great, guys. Yeah. Uh, what'd you think of him, though? I loved him. He kind of gave me a little bit of Matt Rife, just a little bit that I that I, you know, the sense of humor that I love from Matt. You know. Yeah. Because I'm a huge Matt Rife fan. If you do, if you don't know, like. Yeah. And it's not yeah. his looks either, because. I mean, he's a good-looking guy, but he. I mean, come on, he's very pretty. <laughs> he is, but he's not typically what I would go for. Does that make sense? Are you somebody I would I could see myself hanging out with, being a bro with, though. You know, I'm right. Yeah, bro. just he's cutting up bro. and having fun. <laughs> right. Yeah, like yeah. He. I don't know. I I like I like Matt Rice's sense of humor. So. Yeah, I'm I mean, more of a. Like when I when you think of someone like that, I might be attracted to like in that kind of actually attracted to. They have to be more like I like more rugged guys, right? That's just that's just me. Ren in is, general. Ren is the type that that was the old me would have really went for, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm my husband. We all know is actually when I even my he knows this. Uh, he was never my type, like look wise. Like he's a good looking guy, but he's was not my type. Bro, you know, I, you don't always get a marry. You don't always marry your physical type. You know what you think? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah. What the no, heart wants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. you guys, that was Ralphie May. And if you have um, any other Ralphie May or anybody else that you might think we might like, uh, drop it down in the comments. Um, and on that note, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified every time the buddies drop. And until next time, you guys, peace out.
your songs sound the same. You keep making the same song over and over and over and over. Trash. All the new stuff is garbage. We want the old Tom.